But one video today for two here from the deck review. Today we're looking at the vertical from TCC playing cards and art playing cards. It's special shout out to them for sending these my way. I do appreciate it. And for resending them after the original ones got destroyed by FedEx. So these are very interesting. The front of the top case is a vertical, nice shiny silvery holographic almost foil. It says vertical. It also says push up. There's a reason for that. When you push up, it opens up. It's very cool, very simple. This one, oops, I have to push up correctly. Onto the sides, it says vertical playing cards. And the other side as well, vertical playing cards on top. Limited edition, it says. And in the bottom, arc playing cards. And the back is the back design, as you'll see. You get to the cards. Oops, I gotta open them the right way. <laughs> Inside, you get an ad card. It's vertical, even though it's horizontal, <laughs> I guess. Limited distance. And, well, we'll go on the back. Arc playing cards designed or produced by D. The Joker's pretty simple. They definitely have a cardistry vibe to them and also looks like metallic -y inks. One in silver, one in black. The Ace of Spades, vertical. Nice, interesting pip, vertical point cards again. Oh, the back design. It's a gray and black and it says vertical. That looks pretty nice. This one does have nice, shiny holographic gilding. They do also have without gilding court cards. Uh, very simple, minimalistic, interesting, black and silver colors. And also pretty repetitive, I would say, but there's some modifications. And another cards, interesting custom pips, not overly my. These ones are standard, the rest are modified. I'm not usually a fan of pips like this, but for this deck, it this seems to fit. And then the other one is the same thing. If you're wondering what the ad card for this one is, it's stuck. <laughs> I don't know how the hell that happened, but it's it's stuck in there. It is what it is. So same jokers this time it's silver and red. Same with the ace of spades. Silver colors for the spades and clubs this time. Red for the hearts and diamonds. Same artwork. Pretty interesting. They're printed by, I do believe, Taiwan Playing Cards. Uh, they're on a good quality stock and in a nice embossed finish. As you saw, they handle pretty good even with the gilding. Very shiny. There's the back on this one, red and gray. And yeah, pretty nice cardistry esque decks. I think the tuck race is very interesting and unique. I'm going to give them an A minus, just because the artwork isn't necessarily my favorite, at least in terms of the, the pips and the court cards, but still pretty cool decks and definitely worth checking out. I believe the Kickstarter project for this already ended. Unfortunately, I couldn't get these up sooner, but they should be available at some point in time after the market this door. check them out i will put a link i guess in the description to this this and some of the other decks i'm reviewing were all in one big project so that is that comment like subscribe let me know what you think we'll see you next time more thanks for watching